Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is your go-to genre when you're in a reading slump. As I mentioned in a previous video, I don't really have reading slumps per se. So I'm going to spin this topic slightly differently as favourite genre when I'm feeling like I'm not sure what to read next. So the closest thing I get to a reading slump, that period between finishing a book and starting the next one. And if I'm feeling indecisive, which in a situation where I have access to the library, I have more emails telling me about free books on offer than I could read through, even if I devoted the entirety of my life to reading books, I'd end up with a stack of books sometimes and I'm not sure where to go next. Or I'll be feeling, I do have this worthy book I want to read, but I don't, I'm not in the mood for something complex. I want to pass a journey quickly because I just want some entertainment. So sitting there thinking, what do I read next? First thing I'll go for is fresh Lovecraftian things. Now, I've pretty much read and reread everything that Lovecraft wrote and most of the classics of the period. So it's very rare that I'll have a new Lovecraftian book that I've bought or borrowed. But if I do, that's where I'll go first. If I don't have anything Lovecraftian, vampires. I don't love every vampire novel I've read, but I do like little quirks on the vampire myth. I don't know exactly why, but there's something about a tweak on vampires that's different for me, more engaging than a tweak on werewolves or any other horror genre. So if I've got a new vampire novel, I'll go for that. If I'm looking for entertainment and I'm feeling like really reading comfort food, something from the previously read Lovecraftian section on my Livecraftian. Livecraftian. Wandering around like you're the character of a computer game. I know Lovecraftian. Lovecraftian fiction. Uh, or one of the vampire novels off my shelf. Or possibly some military sci-fi. I do like rereading Dan Abnett's work most of which is military sci-fi. Character-driven military sci-fi, though, if you accept that military sci-fi can be about characters rather than military sci-fi being about the battle and not the people in it. But uh, I digress, as so often I do. So, fresh Lovecraft, fresh vampires, Old Lovecraft, old vampires, old Dan Abnett. Strangely enough, if I have an unread Dan Abnett, it won't necessarily be the book I go to straight away. Which is uh, not sure why, but potentially I'd read other sci fi or fantasy before going to a Dan Abnett that I'd bought but hadn't read. If I was indecisive. And now I think I've stumbled to the end of my lollipop. So, toodaloo.